What we're going to do in this case um, is we're going to be practicing writing a proof. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be getting through these proofs all day today. So we're going to get a lot of practice going through this. So please make sure you guys you know, go through on this and make sure you just kind of remember the step by step, all right? Because there's a lot of this we can um, replicate through all the proofs that we're going to do today. But then there's a couple of steps that really are going to draw out our thinking. So they're asking us um, to prove triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And the only thing they tell us is that's given is AB is congruent to CB. Now, a lot of times, guys, when you're given this information, you can start like altering the picture a little bit to kind of represent what you're given. If I say AB is congruent to CB, that means they're equal in measure, correct? And to represent they're equal in measure, we can give them one little tick mark. All right. Then it says D is the midpoint of AC. Well, if something's the midpoint, that means it's going to cut it in half. Therefore, if D is the midpoint of AC, can we say now say that AD is congruent to CD? Yeah. Yes. Now, I don't want to give it two tick, uh, one tick mark again, because that means I'm going to say that that's equal to that, which we don't know. But we don't want to assume. We're not going to assume that they are true. They could be equal. But we want to make sure we just deviate, um, separate them just so we have different sides. So now we have two sides. All right? And again, I'm, trying to, I'm looking into what we need to prove. We need to prove these triangles are congruent to each other. Now, automatically, my thinking so far that what we've talked about in class is the true proof congruence is we have side, 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 and side, angle, side. Those are the two congruences we've talked about so far. And we're going to get into more of them today. But ladies and gentlemen, is there a third side of these two triangles that I could prove would be equal to each other? Yeah. Yes, Zach, which one? DB. Yeah, DB. And I could say DB is equal to both triangles because it's the same side for both of the triangles. So I already thought about this. I said, OK, I know that. Now I just need to write the proof. So a lot of times, if you guys want to think kind of ahead, how are you going to prove this? Where, where is your third side? The only other thing you could have done is try to say that these two angles are equal. But as far as looking at this picture, I don't know of anything mathematically that we could have used to show those two angles are equal. But I can easily sh show that this angle is equal to each other. So we set up our proof. Statement, reason. Okay. For all the proofs, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we write down our given information. AB is congruent to CB. Why do we know that? Because it's given. Then we say D is the midpoint. Of AC, why do we know that? Because it's given. OK? So once we know it's the given, now we need, so now we write this down. So for all of your homework, every single piece of your homework, at least you guys should have this amount done. Right? You should at least have this amount done. Zeth, this is what you need to be working on right now. OK? Um, so now we just need to say, well, all right. So we already know that those two are congruent to each other. But how am I going to say that these two are congruent to each other? We, just because this says the D is the midpoint, that doesn't tell us those two are equal to each other. So I can say that AD is congruent to CD. And the reason why is the definition of a, med, of a midpoint. Because if you have a midpoint in, um, of, a, of a line segment, that's going to separate that line segment into two equal measures. All right. So now, just because now we know that's a midpoint, we know that these two are equal to each other because what, it, what a midpoint tells us. If it's a midpoint, it's halfway in between the two lines. Then we last can say that DB is congruent to DB. All right, And you can either just say, if you want to non-formally say it's because of the exact same side, or you could also say it's the reflexive property. All right. Bless you. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have side, side, side. So since we have side, side, side for these two triangles, yes, AJ? What was it called? Reflexive property. Reflexive property. Um, and then now we can say triangle ABD 
is congruent to triangle CBD. And why do we know that those two are congruent? Because we have side, side, side. Yep. Hold on one second. Does anybody have any last questions on this? Good? Oh, yeah. Put a little box. Prove our, finish off our proof. Yes.